This video reviews how you can use your MedMod topographer to choose the initial sagittal depth of scleral lens that you desire to fit. The MedMod topographer allows for a lot of peripheral corneal information to be acquired. Along with the composite map, it essentially gives us limbus to limbus corneal coverage. And this is important because study has shown that if you can measure the corneal sagittal depth and the peripheral corneal angle, you can predict the depth right into the anterior chamber and to a diameter of a scleral lens. And a special attribute has been created called the EH chord attribute or estimated height attribute. And what this does is it gives you a prediction of the sagittal depth of the anterior chamber. Now, how does that work? First, it's ideal if you can select a composite topography. The composite map gives us all of that peripheral corneal information that will help us better predict the anterior chamber depth. The EH chord attribute can be used with a single map, but just be aware that you don't have quite as much peripheral corneal data to calculate that anterior chamber depth. Now that we've selected our topography, we can go over to the attribute window and we see the four EH attributes. 0, 180 meridian across the horizontal, then the 150, 330 meridian, and the 30, 210 meridian. So essentially we are estimating the height across the horizontal meridian with two slightly oblique axes with the idea being that we get the best possible coverage across the horizontal where we're best able to predict the anterior chamber depth. Now the next step is to choose the cord of contact that we want to um, select. Now as an example, if I use a 16 millimeter scleral lens that measures its sagittal depth to 16 millimeters, that's the number I'll enter here. So the first question you need to ask yourself is, the scleral lens you use, what cord diameter does it measure its sagittal depth? Is it from edge to edge or the total diameter of the lens? Or is it to the point of greatest bearing? Some designs choose their sagittal depth from the middle of the alignment zone where the lens lands with all of its pressure. In the case of the lens I use frequently, it's a 16.3 diameter lens that lands or that bears at 14.8 millimeters. And that's where its sagittal depth is calculated from. So the important number to remember is enter the value that your scleral lens calculates its sag over. Now, when we look at the values, we see a 38.59, 38.68, and 38.69 sagittal depth. So very near to 3900 microns. If we add in the fluid layer that we desire between lens and cornea of let's say 300 microns, 3900 microns plus 300 is 4200 microns. That's the starting scleral lens sagittal depth that I should choose from the diagnostic set. So this attribute is going to help you to fast and efficiently choose your initial scleral lens. The MedMont topographer has great application in so many ways. Using the estimated height attribute, we can choose the initial lens based on the estimated depth of the anterior chamber to the exact cord of measure of your particular scleral lens of choice. We can also do imaging of both the contact lens in white light and to observe its landing, uh, to observe the scribe marks where the flat meridian of our torax are. We can do fluorescein analysis and video of the lens. All of these tools very valuable to us in our scleral lens practice. And as a manner in which we can communicate the information to the lab, we can export this information off for assistance from our GP lens consultant. 